everyone welcome back to my channel it's the first daily vlog of reading rush oh my god i'm so excited so it is currently 11 30 on sunday reading rush starts in 30 minutes i'm hype as i'll be i just finished reading a list of cages this was on my tbr i literally started it yesterday um so stupid thing to do before a readathon like hey i'm gonna start a 300 page book the night before a readathon but you know what? I finished it. And um, I have some things to say. That book was intense. It was um, a lot. 300 pages packed a punch. A big punch. I will give major content warnings. Major, major, major. If you are thinking of reading this book, this like needs to be known. Abuse and um, potential, what I think to be pedophilia what is described in the book to be a little bit of pedophilia i think it was just a lot like it was beautifully written um so well done i thought it was very interesting very captivating um robin Rowe did a great job it was just a lot um kind of like history is all you left me you know i like those hard-hitting novels okay it was just a lot to take in and it was a lot to process and it was a very intense read but it was very good gave it four stars because it was so good. I don't know why I didn't give it five stars. It's just not like one of my favorite reads of all time, but it was good and it was intense and it made you feel things. Like it was, it was intense. But anyways, I'll check up with you in 30 minutes once I decide what I'm gonna read and when Reading Rush officially starts. Okay, yeah. So it's officially midnight. Um, I've been watching Love Island, shamefully, but like it's midnight, which means it's officially time to pick a book. So let's get over to the bookshelf. So here are all my potential choices. Um, am I missing something? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What am I missing? <laughs> Hold on. Right, so I'm a full on idiot. Um, I'm currently in the process of moving. My life is in shambles. And apparently I packed one of the books. The good news is, is I have the audiobook for it, so like, not the end of the world. Anyways, that's not the one I wanted to read right now anyways. I have all of these options, and I think the first one I'm going to go for is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. And I say this because I also have to watch the movie adaptation by the end of the week, and this is a little chunky book here. So, if I start it early, that means I have time later in the week to watch the adaptation, because if I like start it later in the week then i have to like squeeze in the adaptation get the most extensive one out of the way i think except i don't think i'm gonna read it yet <laughs> um because i just got off the high of reading a list of cages so i think i just kind of want to sit down for like 30 minutes and read or and chill but the reading rush sprints don't start until two my time because they start at midnight pacific standard time which is 2 a.m my time so i think i'm gonna chill for a little bit and then maybe participate in some reading sprints um, for like the first hour and then go to sleep. So that's kind of the game plan. Vlog's already in shambles and I've only been vlogging for like five minutes. <laughs> I'm scared to put a label on it because that's when things could go wrong. Or... Okay, so it's currently 2.10. Um, so we just got a notification due to a 10 minute reading sprint. So I'm going to read until 2.20 and get back to you. <laughs> this is fun. That's the end of the first sprint. I'm on page 55 and another one will start in 10 minutes. So I'll be back at 2.30 to keep reading. So that was by far the fastest 10 minutes of my life. Um, it's already 2.30. Let's get started on our next sprint. I'm currently feeling a little bit tired, but I know I only have like 30 minutes left of the readathon. The readathon sprints, I'm getting tired. Can you tell by the way I'm talking? So I only have 30 minutes left before I'm gonna clonk out for the night, but it's going well and I'm really enjoying it. I got a lot to do and not enough time to do it in. So something's gotta give. That's gonna be my sleep. I just finished the sprint. I'm on page 76 at a good stopping point. So I don't know if I'm gonna like sit here and keep reading to try and get to my 100 pages, which is my personal goal. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so that's it for the night. I'm gonna end where I'm at. I'm what page was it? I don't know. The last page I just told you about five seconds ago. That's the page I'm ending at. 
Um, done for the night, really tired. It's three in the morning now, and I just want to go to bed. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I've only been up for like 10-15 minutes and I started my morning editing a little bit and watching some Love Island. I can't go straight into reading when I wake up. I'm just not that type of person. Like I have to have the mental capacity to do it. And I have like no mental capacity when I first wake up. Uh, so I think I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna like wash my face and just like wake up a little bit and then I'm gonna keep reading. The worst part about daily vlogging is that you literally have to like keep up as you're going otherwise you'll get really behind so i've edited literally everything <laughs> so far it's a lot it's stressful guys <laughs> so it's about 10 30 now and now that i've kind of woken up i think i'm gonna work on the photo challenge for the day we're gonna give it a shot okay cool so i have like this idea i want to find a rope or something i don't know if i have one that's like not packed but i think it'd be cool to like tie it around my book and then do that to make my book fly because that's how the flying character in our book like stays down like they tie her to like hold her back from flying away if that makes sense so that's kind of what i want to do but i don't know if i have a rope this is like my complete disaster of a bucket of photo pops and i think i only have lights so i don't know what i want to do right so i found this twine it's not as thick as i wanted I wanted something to like make it very obvious, but I guess this will have to do for the photo. Okay, let's go. So it uh, turns out that wasn't working, um, the rope thing. So I've just been sat here like this for like 10 minutes. So I got a photo I'm moderately happy with. I don't love it. I don't think it's great. It doesn't look like I'm actually throwing the book in the air, but like I literally am. The, the backdrop's right up there. So, you know, it's gonna be good enough. It's fine, we're fine. So now, I'm gonna do some reading because that's kind of the whole point of this vlog. Maybe do a bit of packing, maybe do a bit of dishes, be an adult for once, I'm not sure. decided to make some macaroni and cheese for lunch because I have boxes of it still left and I need to get rid of it before the week is done. That's on the stove. The noodles are like getting warmed up and stuff and the reading sprint starts in two minutes. So I'm going to sit in my little spot and do some reading for this sprint because that's how this works, Shelby. Since I haven't made like a real reading update lately, I'm on page 115 currently. So that's where I'm at with the book. So far, so good. It's interesting. We're finally getting into like the thick part of the plot. All right, so I just finished that hour of reading sprints. I'm on page 182 of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, which is about halfway through the book. Um, there's another set of reading sprints in two hours. So I plan on reading for a little bit in between those two hours, but mostly just relaxing, hanging out. Um, I've got my lunch and I'm going to, you guessed it, watch some Love Island. Love in Highland. Why Marlon was there to spend the time with me. Hello. Oh, so it's almost 4 p.m. I had a bit of a nap. I'm not gonna lie. I fell asleep for like an hour. So like 2.30 to 3.30, I passed out. Oops. I don't know. I guess I'm just really tired. That's how that's going. All right. So it's now 5.30 and I've done a whole lot of nothing. I've laid in bed and I've watched TV. So given that this has been a very uneventful day, I'm gonna do something. Now granted, the something I'm doing isn't all that interesting. I'm going to go to Target. I've got to pick up a couple groceries. And then I'm going to stop and get dinner at a little taco place on the way back. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to listen to my audiobook as I go there. Um, and then I've got my headphones. So like when I'm in Target, I can listen to the audiobook still if I would like to. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get changed, freshen up. I've been in my pajamas all day, so uh, I should change and get ready. But yeah, that's the game plan.
So I got my tacos and I've updated my reading position with all the audiobook that I got done and I'm on page 270 now. So I'm making good progress. I'm hoping to be able to finish this by tonight. I think that's a reasonable um, thing. It's only 382 pages, so I have about 100 pages left. So I think I can do it. And there's also a huge reading sprint going on right now um, that I'm participating in. So I'm going to keep listening to my audiobook while I eat these tacos and participate in the reading sprint. Okay, so we just did a 30 minute reading sprint on the reading sprint Twitter. It was good. I'm almost done. Um, and now I think I'm gonna participate in the video challenge because we're in a little bit of a gap of the reading sprints. So I'm gonna go ahead and watch the video and then we're gonna see what we have to do. But yeah, so I'm here to give you your challenge for today. So characters. So basically what you need to do is you need to go to your bookshelf or wherever you keep your books and grab any book that you've previously read in the past. So I'm just going to go to my bookshelf and I'm going to grab a Harry Potter book. Right. So most if not all of my books are packed. <laughs> um, okay, let's go. <laughs> I have all these, but none of these have been read yet because those are TBR books. These are all unhaul books. I guess I could do a list of cages or fangirl or a court of mist and fury, which I still have. I think I'm gonna do a court of mist and fury. Here it is, okay. Oh God, my life is in shambles. I hope I don't have to do this later in the week because these books are just gonna slowly disappear. Right, so I've got my book now. Okay, what what are we doing? Are we drawing something? Always right here. So once you grab your book, you're basically going to flip to any random page and the first character's name that you see is the character that you're going to try and draw, so. Okay, so I'm gonna flip here and do 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 do. I'm going to have to see the name. It's going to be Reese because I don't know if this is Amran or whoever. So it looks like I'm drawing Reese. You're going to draw. You have 30 seconds to try and draw that character to the best of your ability. <laughs> I'm definitely not an artist. I am. 30 seconds? Okay, I'll get a, I'll get a timer going and let's do this. I'm an art major. Like 30 seconds? I feel pressure. <laughs> okay, so I'm at my desk. I've got my timer set for 30 seconds. I'm gonna get my camera set up and then I'm gonna press it and we're gonna do it, okay. I just know this is gonna be awful. Okay, oh God, oh my God. Okay, so set, oh God, <laughs> here we go. Okay, ready, set, go. my lights here in a bit so the video quality will get better but it's just starting to set it's 8 30 um another reading rush sprint starts in 30 minutes and i have about 36 minutes left of my book so at 906 i should be finished with my book so i guess i should figure out what i'm going to read next but i also just want to finish this um so i can worry about that after like the first set of sprints or once i finish it but yeah so far so good day one i'm gonna finish a book i just made the thumbnail i've edited everything up to this point i'm doing well i don't want to like stress myself out with all that i have to do with like daily vlogging instagram video challenges all this stuff so i'm trying to like get ahead and i feel like i'm doing pretty good i've got a good vibe going and i've got a good plan for the rest of the week and just like that it's 9 15 and i finished my first book of reading rush i gave it a 3.5 stars um it was almost a four star for me i think it was just a little bit slow in the beginning and I think it's written for more of a younger audience and I enjoyed the story and I enjoyed the magical characters and the magical plot that it had 
but if it was a four star I'd want to read the next one and I don't think I want to read the next one I don't think I need to read the next one so yeah I enjoyed it but I don't know that I'll be continuing on in the series maybe someday but like currently it's not something I want to go out and get you know but that being said it's time to pick the next book so I have all these to pick from I kind of want to go for another shorter one so I'm thinking maybe if I was your girl or more happy than not let's go for more happy than not I think that's a good one so more happy than not fits the prompt of reading an author's debut this is Adam Silvera's first published work and Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children is going to fulfill the read the book and then watch the movie adaptation I'll be watching the movie adaptation a little later this week maybe that will inspire me to read the next one it also fits for more than five words because this one has six words so you can count it for both if you so desire so so far i have one prompt done i guess because i haven't watched the movie adaptation so i've read a book with five words in the title so since i've already finished a book i am going to end the vlog here so catch up tomorrow to find out what goes on with more happy than not i want to get these up at midnight so i figure now is a good time to finish that way i can get everything like saved and uploaded and everything in time if they end up being later than midnight throughout the week i'm sorry it's busy i'm trying to edit and post all on the same day so they'll be up around midnight ish or the next day so today is monday it'll be up on midnight on tuesday or sometime on tuesday does that make sense anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the first reading rush vlog i'm so excited did you complete any of your books have you completed any challenges yet? If you have any Instagram challenges or video challenges, feel free to link them down below. I would love to watch. And yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow with another Reading Rush vlog. Happy reading!